Welcome back to the channel, and another in the How To series, this time looking at how to create master shots using the DJI Air 2S. Essentially, master shots are a series of the quick shots selected by the DJI Fly app, which are then flown in a sequence around a targeted area. The Fly app then edits the footage to create a 20 second video with sound and video. There are various templates you can use to get the effect that you want. You can then download it, store it, or share it on social media, or you can simply use the footage that is filmed by the drone as it creates the quick shot and edit it yourself. You must be airborne to use quick shots or master shots, so once in the air, click the media icon just above the record icon in the DJI Fly app and select master shots. You will then see a short video explaining what the drone will do when it's creating the shots. You can skip this once you are comfortable. Using the screen, draw a box around the area you want as the focal targeted point for the composition. Here I am using a house. The drone will then locate itself for the most appropriate view. At the bottom of the screen, you have options to change the width, length and height of the compilation, as well as how long the drone will be flying. The width dictates the size of any circles or sideways flight that the drone will fly to capture the film. To change it, simply click the area on the screen and scroll to select your choice. Length is the distance away from the subject the drone will fly when filming. Again, click and select your choice. Finally, height. This determines how high the drone will fly from the start point. It is worth noting, however, if you're already at reasonable height, you may only be able to select small or the drone will warn you it cannot fly due to exceeding the maximum allowable height. To fix this, Simply lower the height the drone is flying at, and then you should be able to fly normally. You will then see the estimated time the master shots will take to film. Make sure you have plenty of battery life to complete it, and when you're ready, click start. Three, you will then get a countdown, two, and the one. drone will adjust its start position, and then head off to fly the composition. The first quick shot it flies here is a droney. It then follows it with a circle far and cycles through various shots. You may notice that the props come into view occasionally during the flight. This is a bug in the software at the moment. See my separate video, the link is at the top or in the description. You have a progress icon which shows you how far through the shot you are and what percentage is left to go. You will also and notice that I received a warning approaching. about a manned aircraft and the map in the bottom left corner showed its location. I was in the no-fly zone for Farnborough Airfield when this was filmed, however I had a non-standard flight request authorised by Nats, so I knew it would be landing on the runway. They also knew where I was. When the composition is finished, the drone will then return to its start point and the app starts to build the footage. Your composition will then display in a window inside the app. You can click on it to view the created master shot. That is the filming finished. You can now continue to fly and film or land the drone. To view the master shot and the original footage, open the DJI Fly app and then go into the album section. You will see the original footage at 2 minutes 6 seconds, plus any master shots created while you were flying. These are around 20 seconds. Here we have two of each, front and back of the house, the latter being the one we just created. To view and download the original footage, click on the longer film. The master shot will then start to play. Click the wand icon in the bottom right hand corner and then click original. The original film footage will then play. To use this footage click the tick icon followed by the share icon in the top right hand corner. Here you can share the footage to Facebook, Instagram, via your phone, DJI Skypixel or simply download it to your device. Click the download icon and the footage is then downloaded. It's worth noting that you can also get the raw footage straight from the SD card. To change the type of master shot, again click the wand icon and then select the genre and type you want. Once happy, click the tick and the app will then render the clip. Once rendering is done, again click the share icon in the top left hand corner. Here you can share it to social media, your phone or download it back to your device. Click the download icon and the footage is then downloaded as an edited sequence. So let's have a look at the footage. Here is the original footage sped up to save time.
Here is the pop master shot at actual speed. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. I have much more content to come.